Hello everyone, my name is Lani Lahori, and today I will be giving an elevator pitch presentation on dealing with imbalanced data sets and predicting the survival of enterprises using machine learning. A majority of the U.S. economy is composed of service sector jobs, and among them, small and medium-sized enterprises, also known as SMEs, and they play a mighty role. SMEs are companies that are smaller than large corporations and are typically everyday use businesses, such as local restaurants or those in retail and manufacturing. They are built to be quick, easy, and service-oriented and are extremely important to the economy. They contribute to employment, economic growth, and innovation, making up around 90% of businesses and almost 55% of the GDP. However, the majority of SMEs fail within their initial five years, and this is a significant concern. That's why, for this project, I made it a goal to find ways to protect them by using supervised learning to predict their survival likelihood and the best avenue in working through imbalanced data sets when model building. The data set that was used was from a Slovak company to predict SME survival, and it was based on 63 financial features over three years, 2013 to 2016. It included data from agriculture, construction, manufacturing, and retail sectors, with companies classified as bankrupt or non-bankrupt based on predefined criteria. Imbalanced data sets are similar to what they sound like. They have an uneven distribution in which one class label has more observations than the other. This has the potential to disrupt model building and could have disrupted the output in predicting the survivability rate. When the class distribution was observed, it was 0.0049 to 0.9951, which essentially means that there were more non-bankrupt cases than the bankrupt ones, thus contributing towards the imbalance. The approach that I took was concatenating all the data together. However, that reels mostly negative outcomes on the model building and efficiency. This represented the worst case scenario for both prediction and handling a data set, producing a geometric mean value of 0.0, .0 consistently. However, when feature selection was done, the data was essentially split between two different classes, uh, construction and manufacturing. This method represented the best case scenario for model building and predicting SME bankruptcy. This showed LSAD outperforming other methods on imbalanced financial data from the construction and manufacturing sectors. Data from a year before bankruptcy proved to be most effective, with LSAD achieving geometric mean scores of 0.76 to 0.91, depending on the evaluation year. These two methods had drastically different results in the model building and survivability prediction, emphasizing the importance of feature selection and proper handling of data sets. Over the course of model building, several key machine learning techniques were implemented. Least squares anomaly, one class SVM, isolation force, minimum covariance determinant, and local outlier factor. And after reviewing the best and worst case scenario, the three that achieved the most promising results after doing feature selection, of course, or one class SVM, least squares anomaly, and isolation forest. This emphasized the significance of these models when implemented correctly, thus showing how important it is to do feature selection on an imbalanced data set prior to model building. This is especially important for SMEs since the majority of data sets are imbalanced. These insights also provide a strong foundation for enhancing bankruptcy prediction models and informing proactive decision-making and SME management. These SMEs are the backbone of the US economy and it is of the utmost importance to protect them not only for the health and safety of the economy, but for its consumers in the public sector, as well as business owners new and old. Thank you so much for listening, and a special thank you to my mentor, Joe, and to my showcasing mentor, Sejal. Also, thank you so much for the Polygens team for giving me this opportunity to shine. I am so, so grateful. And again, thank you so much for listening.